Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. yesterday at 12 at noon and that finally got ready yesterday evening yeah no well, I basically lost the whole day yesterday because my load wasn't ready so but in the evening it finally was ready so I just I was just basically almost across the street from the truck stop I just basically went and picked up the load yesterday and that's it. I went back to the truck stop, went back to bed, bed and uh, went and go, took me a good sleep and uh, figured I'll leave this morning. I'm not a night person, I don't drive at night, so that's just too dangerous for me because uh, I know I can't stay awake at night, especially since I was up all day, you know. But that's, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes in trucking, you know, and you lose a day or whatever. And that's what happened to me yesterday. Didn't do anything yesterday, so. But here we are, back on the road. And uh, luckily I was able to meet up with the uh, subscriber of mine there the day before. Not yesterday, but the day before. And so I did have some footage from driving during the day that day. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, well, you probably will have already seen this video by the time you watch this one, but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, Monday's driving. I'll make that one separate video and then the uh, meeting up with the subscriber of mine there. I'll make that for yesterday's video so that way I have at least something interesting for tomorrow. I mean for yesterday. Hopefully, hopefully that will work out good. But yeah, we got another uh, 988 kilometers to go to Brandon, Manitoba. We are on our way to Brandon now. We'll try to deliver there tonight. Apparently they're open till 11 tonight. So I should be there probably, I'd say probably around 8 o'clock tonight. Yeah, that's an Alaska license plate. I've never, never seen a car from Alaska before. Wow. Well, welcome to Canada, sir. Or ma'am, whatever you are. I didn't see who was driving or if it was a male or female, but hey, welcome to Canada. <laughs> Hopefully you're watching my channel. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, my voice is a lot better today too than what it was yesterday. Yesterday it was horrible and the day before too. Anyways, let's have yourself a good day. Thank you for joining my channel, traveling with me, and we shall see you in a second. Well guys, we just stopped at the Tom Hortons here in Red Cliff, Alberta. <clears throat> What's just on the outside uh, of uh, Madison Hat? Oh, look at that truck. He just rolled right through the stop sign here. He didn't even slow down. Even on that one. <laughs> it's like the stop signs don't mean anything. All right. All right. <coughs> I guess some people are different than others. Some people a stop sign means slow down and the other person it means just speed up, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't know, but we grabbed ourselves a good cup of coffee. 
No, we should be good to go. Meters. Turn right on 20 Street. Yep. Oh, look at that tire shop down here. Yeah, at least the sun is shining real nice up here. The last couple of days I've been getting snow at home, so sunshine is much better than snow. Anyways, let's get down the road and uh, get to uh, Brandon as soon as we can. Alrighty guys, we are just about to come into Brandon. This is the, fir, uh, the, the valley just before Brandon. Looks like we got lots of water going on over here. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to deliver my load today. I, I thought they were open till 11, but uh, I just checked the satellite there a little while back ago and uh, apparently they are closed from 5 to 11, so I don't know. We'll have to see, I guess, but uh, I'll go over there anyways and see, and if they're not open, they're not open. We'll have to deliver the stuff tomorrow morning. Not really my fault, the load wasn't ready yesterday till 10 o'clock at night and I ain't gonna drive that, that late anymore, you know? So, I'm not gonna do something that, uh, that's dangerous out there on the road or whatever, you know? I mean, I was, I didn't do any driving during the day, but I know when it's dangerous for me and when it's not, you know? Picked up the, lay, uh, the load, la load last night and went straight to the truck stop and went to bed. Here we are. Oh well, we'll go find out anyways, see if the guys are still hanging out or not, but whatever the case might be. Anyways, let's go do that and we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys. We just came back from the place. Four kilometers. We are Turn just left on Highland Avenue. We were over there at the delivery place and they are closed. So we're going to go back to the uh, truck stop right now. And uh, we're going to go grab me a bite to eat probably and then we'll go back there because I talked to the people up there and they're saying that uh, somebody is coming in tonight at 11. So and I. Uh, there was plenty of parking there, so I think I'll just I'll grab me a bite to eat and I'll come back over there and just park there, I guess, till 11 and then hopefully I can get me unloaded at that time. So, oh yeah, well, that's just the way it goes. Nothing I can do about it. Well, guys, we went inside here at this uh, place to deliver and there's nobody there till 11 so we went over to the truck stop and had a bite to eat and all that good stuff and so now we're back at the uh delivery place and uh yeah we'll sit tight over here till 11 and then uh we'll get our load off and then hopefully we can park over here we're uh they got plenty of room up here yeah there's even plenty of room down there yet so they should probably allow us to stay overnight here, I would almost think. So we'll give it a shot anyways, right? Plenty of room here, so uh, I'm going to cut this video for now. And then we will continue on with our journey tomorrow. See what happens tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking away